everyone. Jonathan Smith here with Vermeer Southeast. I wanted to go over a walk around a little bit on this 2440s, but I found Kirk Kovatek in the office. He's one of our leading sales representatives, and this is a perfect time to kind of go over this. Kurt, this machine is dominating our market right now. What's going on with this thing? What are some of the features that your customers are really liking about this 2440 in this particular class of drill? Well, the 2440, has been, it's got a history. Uh, it's been around 25 years. Wow. Uh, it's evolved, but it's, you know, there's been two generations of drillers that run 2440s. It's always been known to have a lot of power, a lot of thrust rotation, and a lot of mud pump, and a compact size. So guys traditionally have used it for everything from you know, single pipe to 12 inch, 14 inch bigger shots from a couple hundred feet to you know over a thousand feet. So it's always had that reputation as being the workhorse um, and it's, it's got a really good name behind it. Just wow. the tradition of durability and reliability is, has carried with it even over the years as the machine has changed. Wow, that all sounds really good. What are some of the particular features on this Series 3 model that came out um, that, I mean, they're rolling off the assembly line they're going out the door. What's going on with that? So when the Series 3 come out, they uh, give it a little more power. So traditionally it's had 24,000 pounds of push and pull, 28. Uh, it's got a little bit more torque. So guys that are pulling big reamers, they got a little more, more torque there. Okay. Um, customers have really liked the wireless remote for setting it up, um, being able to walk around the drill, being able to see everything, make sure you're not going to hit an obstacle on the job site with it, loading and unloading it. Oh, customers have really loved that. Um, you know, over the years, we've uh, this machine traditionally we've stuck with steel tracks just for durability. Well, several years ago, we came out with the, uh, the rubber impregnated pads on the steel tracks. So we've got the best of both worlds: the reliability of a steel track that's not going to come off or not going to stretch versus a rubber pad that you can get on and off pavement with. Uh, the operator station, um, you know, Vermeer's always been real big on ergonomics, so it's comfortable to run. You know, sitting up here in your seat. All your controls are on your joysticks for your rod loaders. It's rare that your hands have got to come off the joysticks. Um, the DCI display, the Aurora display, is now built in. So, and your engine data is down here. And if your locator is out front, you know everything oh, is, yeah. is nice in line of sight. Um, your rod loader too. You're not having to turn around and look back and see. It's comfortable to run. Wow. Um, as far as a reliability standpoint, several years ago in the last downturn. Vermeer spent a lot of money on R&D on the, uh, the CAN bus wiring system. Oh. It's a fancy term. Basically what it means is that we're using the same wires for multiple functions. So it allows us to do things like this keypad here. It's got eight different switches on it. There's four wires that run the whole keypad. So a lot more reliability, uh, a lot less connections and terminals and things like that. Um, and also that CAN bus for guys that want to run rock on this rig, it allows us to do things like auto car and thrust limiters. So if you're running a hammer, you can set your thrust limiter, set your rotation limiter. The machine will sit there and carve back and forth. Oh, you can set your auto drill, just take your hands off and let the machine work. So very user friendly, especially with some of those features that have come out over the years. Um, you know, and just the, the power in, in the, the size package. And then what you're saying next to you right there is, has oh. been another big... I was gonna say, these things are massive. Yeah. Or, I mean, it, this is the first thing I kind of noticed when I walk up on a 2440. This has changed recently, right? I mean, these are huge. Yeah, and these stakes are in the transport position. When you go to uh, get ready to drill, they're gonna be setting up a little taller, but you know, traditionally, years ago, what was a weak point for us on, on our stake downs, the factory went full circle and maybe went overkill, but now we've got a four inch stake that's 42 inches long, and you sink those things in the ground, and it's going to hold the machine in place. And right. if you've got, you know, asphalt or thin concrete, it'll sit there and core right through it right there. to stake that machine down. So uh, you've got the power. Now you've got the ability to sit there in one place and use all that power and send it down hole. And that all sounds great. We can walk around this thing. I would love to know everything. But um, I mean, there you go. There's a quick, you know, a quick shot of, of the overview on this 2440. Um, this thing's leading the market. You know, there's no doubt about it. So. If you have more questions about this 2440 or of our other products, contact your local sales representative like Kurt here. And on behalf of everybody here at Vermeer Southeast, have a safe and productive day.